in this recording, we're going to be demonstrating how to create points inside of your NX part files here. And it doesn't matter which version. This process goes back all the way back to, I believe, NX12, maybe even older versions of the program. You can see I'm using NX2412, the most recent release of the program in uh, December 2024. And so I'll be demonstrating how to create points inside of the part file here. Give those points an object name with an index number for each of those objects or points. And then taking that information, opening up the spreadsheet program, and then extracting the XYZ coordinates from those point objects. So that's the process we're learning about here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create some points inside this uh, simple part I have here. So I'm going to go to my curve commands. We'll go into the point operation here. Doesn't matter what type of point. I'll just click, uh, I'll set my selection intent here to a point on a face here. Pick point one, a second point. Oh, we'll go ahead and create that first. So I hit apply here in between. Pick a second point location, apply. I just want to create a couple different points so we have those, so we can extract the data for a couple of those. And now I'm going to add a, another point on an endpoint. So I'll click up here on the top end of that edge right there on the block or this part. Hit apply. And now we have three points that we can use to extract the XYZ coordinates from. So I'm going to cancel on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at extracting the information. The first thing you want to do, though, in order to do that, is you need to go ahead and select the points, and you want to add what's called an object name to the points. And we could also add indexes to multiple points at the same time. So if you have more than one point inside the part here, you want to set your selection filter here to point. Once that's set to point, if I box around those three points, you can see I highlighted those and selected the three points in the graphics display. The next step is you're going to right click on one of the points and go into the properties on the pop-up context menu here. As soon as the property dialog box opens up, you can see in our point properties dialog here, our interaction method set to bulk edit. So essentially you see all three of those points right there in the object column here. And if we go to general here, on the general tab, we can give those a name. In this case, I'm gonna be calling these PT underscore, and then I'm going to toggle the box to add an index name. This box or this option only shows up if you have more than one object selected in the gra graphics display. I'll demonstrate that here really quickly. I'll go ahead and cancel out of here and select just a single point and then right click on that and go to the properties for the single point. Once that opens up, when we go to the general tab, you'll see the index option is not available here. That's because the, what that process does there is it looks at the items that the user chose on the graphics display and it says, okay, I see the user chose three points. It's gonna take this name, typically you put a name like, in this case, point or PT, underscore, and after the underscore, if you have more than one item selected here and you check that add index box, it's going to index and add point one, point underscore two, point underscore three, and keep on going through that process. It's adding the index after the name you prescribe up here in the name field. Let's go through the motions again, selecting multiple points. Set your selection filter here to point, and you can just box around the points, or you can go through and pick the points one by one if you'd like to do that. Now we can go ahead and right click on one of the selected objects there, click on properties, go over to the general tab here and enter your base name that you want. So in this case, PT for point underscore, because the underscore is going to be the separator for the index uh, between the point or the PT indicator and the actual index number will come after that. Now I can check the box to add index to name. The starting index number is going to be one. And then it's going to progressively go through and index each one of those objects with one, two, three index numbers. All right, that's the first part of the operation. I'll select OK. Now each of these points has a specific index that's been added to that. If you put your cursor over that point, you can see it says point underscore one of point six feature. Move the cursor over to the second point. It says point underscore three of point feature four. And then the third point we chose, point underscore two of point five. And so now we've created these object names with a index number after them. And the next step is to go into tools, 
We're going to go into the spreadsheet program now. So this is going to open up your Microsoft Excel program once we activate this. All right, so once we do that, this Excel spreadsheet program is now connected to our NX program. Once the spreadsheet program opens up over in the first row, I like to leave this as a header row so I can put some descriptive header information here like X, Y, and Z and point over here or name of point. And so I'm going to start pulling in data on the second row here inside the spreadsheet. The way that this works is you're going to type in the point, the same name that you use for the object in this case. So I'll type in point underscore one. And that's going to be the object name inside of NX for that point. What you're communicating to the software here is uh, I want to pull in the XYZ coordinates for this point one from my NX program. So if you look here, we can even start to name the columns on our header row. We can call this the point name. And then this will be X, Y, and this will be our Z coordinate location for that point. We can center those up. I'm just going to go and select those rows and center the, uh, the data up here in those columns. All right, now, after you've added point underscore one, you can go ahead and place your cursor over the bottom right corner of that cell and drag down to generate as many points and continue that down the rest of this column. So I have three points. I'm going to drag down two cells below point one cell. And you can see it's populating point two and point three automatically. It's just continuing this numbering scheme going down by doing using that technique. So for point one, you want to click into the cell directly to the right of that. So what you want to do is you want to select the cells for X, Y, and Z for that particular point object and go up into the formula entry here. And we're going to type in equal symbol point, spell out the word point, capital P O I N T open parentheses. And now we're going to reference cell a two for point object one inside the part file instead of my NX program. So I can either click in the cell, to pull that into my formula, or I can type in A2 there for the cell location. I'll close the parentheses, hit the green check mark. As soon as I hit the green check mark, you'll see the XYZ coordinates get pulled into these cells for this point one object in my program instead of Siemens NX. So I'll click on the check mark here. There you can see the coordinate locations. For X, it's 117, Y, 51, etc., Z, 57. Now you can go ahead and copy this information down. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy this formula and propagate that down for the next two objects. The quickest way to do this is to go over to the selected cells here, put your cursor on the bottom right corner until you see that bold plus symbol, hold your left mouse button down and drag two cells down. And it's going to pull in the point information, the XYZ coordinates for those additional point objects from your NX program. Once you're done populating your spreadsheet, you can save that, save that with your project, et cetera. The nice thing about this is this spreadsheet is actually embedded inside the NX part file as well. So you could always revisit, open up your spreadsheet from NX and you'll see your coordinates and everything in here. If you need to add additional points later on from your design, just go through the same process, click on the bottom cell here, put your cursor on the bottom right corner, left mouse button down and drag down to add additional points. And likewise, if you need to populate the information from those points, the XYZ coordinates for each one of those corresponding points over here in the first column, left mouse button down and drag down. Now you're going to see this is going to give me some value indicators here because these points don't exist yet inside my NX part file. You can preemptively build these points in here and now if I go into my NX part file and I start to create these point objects and jump back into the spreadsheet, it's going to auto populate the XYZ coordinates here for me later on. So you can certainly do that. You can plan ahead here and add as many points as you need to in the column here, and then add your formulas for each one of those point objects ahead of time. And then when I go to NX and I create those additional points and come back into my spreadsheet, it's going to auto populate the XYZ coordinates here for me. Once you're ready to leave the spreadsheet, you can go to file and go down to close. That's going to bring you or close this out. You're going to get a dialog that opens up saying you're exiting the spreadsheet program. Do you want to save the current spreadsheet data? You want to say okay here because this is going to save this internally to the NX part file. So select okay. 
It closes your Excel spreadsheet and sends that data back over to NX. And that's now embedded inside of the program. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to add a fourth point here. So I'm going to go back up to my curve commands, click on the point tool here. So once the point dialog opens up, I'm going to go ahead and just create another point over on the end of this edge here. Select OK. All right. And once you create the new point inside of your NX program here, we're going to add another index to that. So I'm going to go back over again, selection intent and set the point here. Go over to my brand new point, right click on that, go into the properties for that point. And because it's a single point, remember the discussion earlier, we're going to type in point underscore, and then we can type in, I believe this is going to be our fourth point inside of the, uh, the set here. So we have one, two, three, this is our fourth point. So now I can type in point underscore four here and then select OK to add that object name to my point. Now, once I've done that, when we go back into tools, spreadsheet, you're going to note that point four is going to be populated with the XYZ coordinates there. And just as I mentioned a moment ago, you can see point four because we set this up ahead of time. You can see it's pulling in the coordinate for the X, Y, and the Z for that new point that we just introduced inside of the NX program. So that's how you can create a point, add an object name to those specific points, use your spreadsheet program to create the setup here and populate the X, Y, Z columns with the correct coordinate locations for each of those points. There's one more thing I do want to show inside of the program. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I'll do a file and close the spreadsheet again. Returning back into NX, do I want to save the current spreadsheet data? Select OK here and send myself back over to the NX program here. Additionally, when you do start to add object names to your objects inside of NX, you can show the object names in the graphics display. I'm going to show how you can do that. So if we go back up here to menu, preferences, and go down to the visualization preferences here, you want to go into the view category here. You'll see there's a decorations option. So I'll select on the decorations category over in the right hand panel here. There is a section called names and borders but there's also an option inside of there called show object names. So if you leave your cursor there, you can see this is gonna display the names of objects, attributes, patterns, and groups inside the view, inside of your NX view. And so what we wanna do here is choose the option on the dropdown to show the view of definition. So I'll click on that, select apply. As soon as I do that, you'll note in the graphics display, we can now see the object names. I'm gonna go on the wireframe display so you can see those more clearly. And so you can now see the object name for your points here as well. So that is the process to create points inside your parts, add an object name to those points, multiple techniques to do that. If you select multiple points, you can add an index number to those and the software is gonna automatically add that index number for the user. If you pick on a single point, you're not gonna have that option. You'll just put your full name for the object point underscore four in this case, as I demonstrated when I added point four here, then you'll go into tools, spreadsheet, open up the spreadsheet program and follow the process that was demonstrated earlier in the video.